Okay, so just setting up the video. Sending the link. Monetization is on. <clears throat> and then I'll copy and paste my usual and pin it. Oh, there we are. Hello, everyone. Uh, going to be playing the final episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. Kind of. I mean, it's not technically the last episode because there is a bonus episode. Uh, I'll be buying the deluxe at a later date. Um, but I can't believe what happened last time. Just to catch up. I know that Life is Strange is going to catch us up anyway with the whole like flashback bit but I can't believe what happened in the end I'm still shocked from the fact that that woman what was her name Sarah is Amber's mother not Amber sorry I keep calling her Amber I mean Rachel Rachel's mother I keep calling her Amber I don't know why If anyone would like to donate in the stream, that would be appreciated so much. Uh, you may donate via Super Chats or via Streamlabs, which is a link that is pinned and it's also in my description. That goes straight to me so that I can um, receive the money almost straight away. Um, YouTube takes a while to pay, so that's why I haven't been able to get my money yet. <laughs> but... Um, Good news, YouTube has updated my earnings now, so that means I will get paid on the 21st of this month, which I'm quite happy for. So, I guess, um, we should start playing then. Let me just get the stream to look at the actual screen. Here we are. Life is strange before the storm. <sighs> Final episode. I am not ready. And I did download it this time, so I can start it straight away. I did download it this time. Previously, on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. Also, There's I'm really sorry if um, my internet mean? goes weird, because you for some reason today it's head. been a bit uh, a laggy. Of your actions, I really hope it doesn't do that. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Blackhaw's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? <clears throat> Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is wailing. 
that infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If I, wa I wonder if they're going to actually it's, leave. It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't oh, yeah, you that. just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. I can't, I still can't, I still can't with that. Okay, why can't it connect? What is going on? I don't need to be online right now. I don't think. Oh my god! I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for- Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. And what the hell's going on between them I'm then? I'll tell you everything, Rachel. Everything. I've shielded you from for so long, but the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? I'm not ready, but I'm going through it because, oh my god. <clears throat> in high school there was one person everyone adored her teachers her friends Sarah was everyone's favorite every boy wanted to date her I could barely believe it when she picked me sometimes I think that's what kept me blind for so long She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Escape from what? When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father the greatest moment of my life there was so much love but I was still blind however much she loved you then it wasn't enough for Sarah the need to escape was always there
for over a year. I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. What is going on? I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her. For who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. Wait, 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 wait. What the heck just happened? I... I'm confused. I'm expecting she just did drugs, right? Or something, what? I don't understand what just happened. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel? It was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss. Goodbye. I told her. And I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. Not after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again, to keep you safe. And how is Rachel going to react to that? Hmm. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes, but Rachel, it cannot be. Why not, if that's what Rachel wants? Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <sighs> Rachel... I think I need to lie down. Are we still leaving? <laughs> Are we still escaping? <clears throat> 
Oh, crap. I always... I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Right, I'm going to look at the messages. What we just got. Rachel and Chloe, where are you guys? We're at the Tempest cast party. I already texted Rachel like eight times. Hey, I don't think we're making it. Chloe, you should come. Yeah, Chloe, you did awesome. Hey, Chloe, great job tonight. Thanks, I can't. But you were amazing. Without you, there would have been no show. Seriously, just come. Bring Rachel. Sorry, guys. So we can't go. Um, let me read... Sarah. What can you say about a woman so mysterious? Her own daughter never heard of her till now. From what James told us, Sarah is a drug addict who got herself messed up in all sorts of crazy shit. And by drugs, I mean OD and end up dead in al an alleyway drugs. Not smoke a bowl and watch anime. When Rachel was a baby, Sarah would get high when she was supposed to be looking after her. Things got so fucked up that James finally had to take Rachel away. The funny thing is, even as James talked about all the horrible things Sarah had done, he still seemed, I don't know, fixated, I guess? You could see the power she had over him. Actually, when he was talking about how beloved and magnetic Sarah used to be, I couldn't help but think of Rachel. I wonder if James sees that too? Maybe it's what makes him so afraid of her. Anyway, now Sarah is in Arcadia Bay, looking to meet Rachel. After years of taking James's money to stay away, suddenly she wants a relationship with her daughter. James seems skeptical, and Rachel? I can't even imagine what Rachel must be going through. How many of these pages did I not read yesterday? Max, just when I thought this day couldn't get any more dramatic. Wait, let's back up. Guess who tried to drug Rachel and jack her role? Don't worry, Rachel and I turned the tables on Victoria and gave her a taste of her own medicine. Literally. Sadly, the drama doesn't end there for me. Stupid Juliet got caught in the stupid fire and now I... Now I... Let's just say there's exactly one person in the world who can make me dress up in a funny costume and act out Shakespeare in front of an audience of all my least favourite people, and she happens to be next to me at exactly the wrong moment. <sighs> so I survived, just in case you were worried about me. You totally weren't. But it wasn't easy. I had to remember what to say and where to go and not to flip everyone off in the audience. Not gonna lie, I totally killed it. Once I got past the stupid makeup and the blinding lights and just let myself get lost in it all. I guess acting is really about forgetting the rest of the world exists and being completely in the moment. When I'm in Rachel... When I'm... With... Rachel... I never said that. That never happened. When I'm with Rachel, somehow that becomes easy. We... <laughs> We ended up creating a new story together on stage, a much better story, because this one ends with the two of us escaping the island and sailing off into the sunset together. Take that, Shakespeare. Will real life turn out so awesome? Time will tell. Chloe, the baddest bitch in town. Time is told, and no, it turns out that real life is not like the stage. It is so much better. We're leaving. Tonight. Boom. Peace out, Arcadia Bay. We're headed to Los Angeles. Home of movie stars, dank weed, and who cares? All that matters is it's not here. I didn't believe Rachel at first. It's not that I don't trust her, but she tends to get swept away in the moment. Let's just say she erased all doubts. What? You need me to draw you a map? We made out. As awesome as you may imagine making out with Rachel Amber sounds, believe me, it was a bajillion times awesomer. After a quick stop by Rachel's house, we headed off. Next time you hear from me, I'll be an ex-Arcadian, just like you. Chloe, the so much better. I always used to think the strange things about the Ambers was how normal they were. They seemed like a bad 90s sitcom family, and I did my best to play the part of the wacky yet lovable best friend. I chatted with Rose, Rachel's surprisingly cool mom, and even helped her set the table. The goal was to get in and out of there without causing a scene, so we could make our escape. 
about that. It turns out, Rachel couldn't sit back and let her cheating father act all high and mighty. I tried to distract her and remind her of our goal. It almost worked. Then, Rachel snapped. I guess she just can't stand the lying anymore. She told her mom about James making out with that woman. Everyone started yelling, and the next thing I knew, Rachel was going full destruction on the table. That's when the truth finally came out. Rachel's mom is not her mom. And Rachel's real mom is Makeout Woman. Mind blown. Chloe the wacky yet lo lovable. So we gotta sort this out, I guess. Let's talk to James. <sighs> um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. I, I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone, but addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah, but Rachel's not a baby Listen anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. That is something I will always do. She's so young. You are, too. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. I care about her, too, you know? I know. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Hard to argue that Rachel would have had a better life with Sarah. But does that make what James did right? I'm more concerned about Rachel's explosive anger. Holy shit. Rachel completely destroyed that table. I guess there's worse things than growing up around fancy stuff like this. I need to talk to you, Rose. Hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Okay. Rose. Sorry that tonight turned out so... Uh, differently. That's all right. I'm really quite glad that you're here. I'm glad, too. You've had to cope with much worse, I know. I'm grateful Rachel has someone as strong as you. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. I guess I'm not great. Rachel and I were really happy a few hours ago, and now... 
Maybe you can see why James wanted to keep this a secret. There are many painful things about Rachel's past, including my own role in hiding the truth. Sarah shouldn't have taken money over seeing her daughter. You know, I am so thankful to her that she did. It gave me the opportunity to be Rachel's mother. I never knew how much I could love someone until I had Rachel. But hearing the truth after all these years hurt Rachel more than anything. I'm not happy with James for the whole way this came out. You're not happy with James? What about what he did at the Overlook? It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. I guess let's go up and see Chloe then. Did I say Chloe? Rachel. Oh my god, I can't say Rachel's name right. I call her Amber, I've called her Chloe. I've almost called her Max a few times, actually. some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Is there a section on how to walk fours through batshit crazy family drama? No? I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. Actually, no, I need to. I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. <clears throat> Weird. Dear Miss Arcadia, what's the real deal with that fire north of town, and when's it going to come down here and incinerate us all in its fiery hug of death? Asking for a friend. First, first, blah. Didn't the fire start the day after Firewalk was here? This is a strange one, friends. ABD, ABFD sources say they've never seen anything like it. No idea where it came from, no idea why it's lasted this long. Total mystery. Time to put on your tinfoil hats and start speculating. There's a dragon with matches that's loose on the town. Prescott's like 50% serious. Why only 50? Prescott's are shady as shit. You'd really put us past them? They probably had some incriminating evidence to burn. Or better yet, bodies. Not to mention the chemtrails they drop all over town. Highly flammable. Occam's razor people. Just some kids getting high in the woods. As for the weirdness, this town is weird. What else is new? 
But why male models? We are built on an Indian burial ground, are we not? Native people's burial ground, and no, we're not. Burn, get it? Legalize Oregon movement, how to get involved. Blackwell tuition spike. Okay. Planner. Hard to believe the show was only a few hours ago. Seems like everything has changed since then. I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one? That's the one. This light needs more light. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that night light. Rachel Viva knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so uh, alone. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. Okay, so I need something that's gonna make it... Ooh. Kinda like a cup. That's kinda funny. Message from mom. Chloe, I'm leaving the door unlocked in case you don't have your key. Please come home. Doesn't matter that it's after curfew. Mom, I can't right now. Please. Can you, like, explain, maybe? Us on this. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained. Huh. The yin and badass yang of Rachel Amber. We were so close to making our break last night. Now, I don't know. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. I bet Rachel would rather be anywhere but here. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. Back on the train, I said... I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes, but it still seems hard to believe. Nathan in this series seems much less bad than he is in Life is Strange. I mean, it is before everything happens. Which makes me kind of feel bad for him. But also he did all those terrible things. Even though he was used, it's still not great. Can I make something? I 
<laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. Okay, I think I've looked everywhere now. So, um... I don't think there's anything that I can- Oh! I forgot about the flashlight. I wasn't looking up in the corner. for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Wish there was some way to make this brighter. Check it out. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? It reminds us there's so much beauty out there, which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. My mom. I can't even call her that anymore. And that other woman, my real mom, she's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. I don't even know what to say in this episode, to be honest. <laughs> I'm guessing that we're either going to meet her mom or we're going to leave. The fact that she's here right now, that she came here for me, I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Of 
course not. But it, it might be tough to track her down. Yeah, that's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. Well, I've got an idea. Let's go to Frank. Frank's gonna know. Maybe. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. Don't worry. I've got that one covered too. <clears throat> you do? Yep. In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. I know you will, but even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like <laughs> it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real to us. Right? Right. Well, that was, um... A very serious conversation. Did they fall asleep? Is she dreaming? drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after... You're dead. Touche. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? <laughs> what is going on? Ugh. 
What's wrong? Don't you see anything? Fine. It's... It's a spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Something about the whole world being a stage. So, might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a... Bit of stage magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. Look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Not the blood as well, oh my god. <laughs> Obviously Victoria Chase would boo. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. Plus, he likes me. And he owes me one from yesterday. I can do this. Come on, dude. Pick up. Price, I got your collector's fee. Coming to get it? Hey, Frank. I was actually gonna cash in for a favor instead. What do you say? Never run out of crap, do you? What's the problem? I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I'm trying to help a friend. It would mean a whole lot to her. The girl with you at the mill? <sighs> yeah. I'll meet in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... <sighs> that went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. And then we've got to talk to Joyce and David. Who was that? Rachel? Was that Rachel?
Thank you for being there for me last night. I'm feeling a lot better. Guess what? Hmm? I'm a good kisser? Okay, that. Also, we're meeting Frank in the junkyard in two hours. I think he can get us in touch with Sarah. Holy shit. Yep, I'm still at my house, just showering, then grabbing tools for the truck. So, meet in the junkyard? I'll be there. You're amazing, Chloe Price. <clears throat> More journal. When you think about it, it's kind of amazing that anyone ever trusts anybody about anything. Take the stars, for example. We learn all these things about them in school, but no one bothers to tell us the most important fact of all. Some of them are dead. Yet somehow Rachel trusts me with the most important thing in her world. Finding her real mom. She didn't ask me right away. At first, she didn't even want to talk. It was kind of like the junkyard a couple days ago. But this time, I didn't freak out on her. I gave her space. Here's something you never learned, Max. When someone you care about is hurting, you do anything you can to be there for her. Even if that means making the stars shine in her bedroom. That's how I got Rachel to open up and ask me about finding her mom. I told her I think I could do it. If I can reach Frank and get the truck running, we have a chance. Chloe, Conjurer of Stars. Sorry, Ward. I've got a real ride to fix up now. Let's water this plant. Uh, better than nothing. Well. Figures. Um, what? Nice to see my work is appreciated. Rachel really is good at everything she does. Thou art an idiot. Yeah, go skip. Alright, let's read these. Sarah Gearhart. Winchester High School gives Fisher Award to Sarah Gearhart. March 16, 1989. Each year, Winchester High School grants the Fisher Award, named after famous explorer Robert Fisher, to the student who best... That's about it. Try another search? Okay. Victoria Chase commented on a photo you're tagged in. To view the photo, make sure you click on the following link. Just in case you needed more proof that Blackwell is better off without Chloe Price. So that's what girls take forever doing in the bathroom. Mad respect. No one asked you, Trevor. Burn. Wow, Chloe. That was... classy. Review. Blackwell's The Tempest takes Shakespeare by storm. Last night, The Tempest was reborn upon Blackwell Academy's outdoor stage. The unique and bold direction of Travis Keaton gave the show an updated feel, typically absent from overdone classic works. Stella in the lead role, the, the young Rachel Amber commanded the stage just as Prospera herself commands the unknown. Worthy of special mention was Nathan Prescott's Caliban, who carried himself with the mighty tension of a coiled spring. Even from the back of the audience, Mr. Prescott's rage towards his enslaver was palpable, an unusual and ad admirable feat for such a young actor. Yet the real star tonight, in the role of Ariel, was newcomer Chloe Price, whose chemistry with Miss Amber's Prospera surpassed even that of Amanda and Fer Miranda and Ferdinand, as she explored Ariel's struggle between loyalty and liberty. Miss Price gave a truly genuine performance, Indeed, when Prosper refuses Ariel's freedom in an excellent revision of the original script, I have never seen a more believable portrayal of surprise than Miss Price's authentic astonishment. Five stars. When to quit, an interview with Skip Matthews, Pisshead Frontman. Arcadia Bay Online News. So a charmingly homemade music video for your song Nothing Wrong hit the internet last night. In the, 12, in the last 12 hours, it has accumulated over 200,000 hits. Skip Matthews. Yeah, we were as surprised as everyone else. How can you explain the sudden appearance of your first music video? I just really needed a change. I was working full-time at a job I hated, and I really worked up the nerve to quit. And it was so freeing. I just felt the need to channel that feeling into something new. 
So we kind of helped Skip become kind of a niche celebrity. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. You're welcome, plant. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Is mom playing music? Hmm. Huh. Ugh. So I was right all along. Rachel Amber is a fucking evil bitch. Oh yeah, she totally is. I guess you think you're her little sidekick now. Yep. I've had it with this school. Nobody gave a shit about me last night. It was all Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Oh man, when you try to drug someone and then it bites you in the ass. That's just the worst. Fuck you, Chloe. I guess it's shower time. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? It would be really funny if she was still dreaming. My towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just calmly look for it. Lots of washcloths. No towel. Some pirate towel. I truly hate seeing so much of David's shit around here. Gross. she gonna dye her hair? Ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water, don't let me down.
do I feel like wearing on this crazy ass day? Skull Dragon or bonus outfits? I can't connect to the server, so I don't think it's gonna let me do the Square Enix member. Right, let's um, Dragon looks cool. Oh yeah. I don't even think I need to second guess that one. Wow, that that's um, I like that one. All right, one last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Let's go. Some here. <clears throat> Mom actually sold her ring for three hundred dollars. I remember this. Mom loved it. Wait, is today Mother's Day? Shit. Oh no! <sighs> Can I just give that to Mom again for Mother's Day? It really is moving in. Gross. Nothing screams compensating for something like a bright yellow sports car. Sports cars are really good for. Flames. Lots of flames. So, if I put this photo out, Mom just hides it in a different drawer? What the hell? Well, I guess we should head downstairs. I'm, um... I'm playing Before the Storm, which is the prequel to Life is Strange. I'm on episode three. This is my first playthrough. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid Mom or David? Flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. 
I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. <clears throat> hey, who's there? Hey. <laughs> Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did. But this is... Uh, is something different. <sighs> None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. I... Uh, I didn't get you anything. Having you back home is present enough. I'm just here to pick up something. Then I... Uh, I have to go. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. Chloe. I, uh... I don't have time for this. Now, hold on a minute. Please. I... owe you an apology. Let's hear it. <sighs> Chloe, I should not have asked you to empty your pockets yesterday. I was, uh, out of line. And I'm sorry. Okay. Apology accepted. Really? Yeah. Good job. And good job, Mom, for twisting his arm or whatever. Chloe. What? It's great. He listens to you. Can we be done now? Wait, one second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been meaning to show you something. Maybe, maybe now's a good time. Is that the getting married this or something? Oh, okay. <laughs> is my Never friend mind. Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were gonna get into once we got back home. I never realized died. how square David's head is. He died. You noticed. And I didn't. <laughs> and I think about that fact every damn day the point is i've had my share of grief i know it's like minecraft steve what you're going through <clears throat> so i guess what i'm saying is i'm here to do what 
whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Let me choose. I hate when she Here. just does it herself. <laughs> Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. Oh, uh, fine. I just... I, w I want to... What a peaceful life in this game. I don't want to hurt his feelings anymore. I'm just going to accept it. David looks so young. And this Phil guy. They look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? Uh, this is gonna be- Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. Oh, she should have checked in the toolbox. I have this awful feeling she's gonna get to the car and then she's gonna open the toolbox and then there's gonna be David's stuff in the toolbox instead of her dad's stuff. That might not be useful. Um? Why did the sound go off? What was that? Never mind, it was okay. Come on. <sighs> Work with me here. Yeah, it is the same place that we saved Chloe. Better. Because it's where uh, it Rachel and Chloe used to hang all the time. Love. I can salvage this beast. I just need to find the right tool for each problem. Mm, great. Uh, pliers. Right, so I've got the pliers. The pliers would be good for... Um, this maybe? This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Use the pliers. There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. Perfect. Um... So I'd say, what do we have in here? Wrench and a screwdriver. I can definitely see some problems. A screwdriver might be good for the to match them to the right tool. Distributor cap, maybe. Mm, maybe. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. 
Oh, maybe that's a wrench. Need something small to scrape the gunk off oh, no. the cap. No, perfect. I think that's okay. That should help keep shit distributed. Well, fuck. Go back from whence you came. Who was that? Air quality health advisory. Arcadia Bay Forest Watch, Arcadia Bay, or o uh, Oregon. 07.45 a.m. PST, Sunday, May 9th, 2010. Culmination State Park fire remains active. Moderate to heavy smoke expected. Limit outdoor activity. David? Chloe, this is David. Did my mom just give you my number? Yes, she did. I noticed you took your father's toolbox. Are you working on a project? Sort of. What kind of project? Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. Well, I'm glad to see you taking an interest in something. Keep it up. He's not even mad. Um, I'll read the journal entry in a bit. Um, so this radiator cap. What was this wrong thing it? seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. Mm. It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? Wrench. Wrench. <sighs> Much better. The old filter. This thing is gunked the fuck up. A blow. Maybe. Hello, welcome back. No, I am not stopping pony content, don't worry. Um, it's just a little bit less uh, than usual. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. I'm just playing a ton of games now because I really like playing games on the channel now. But I will still do, do like comic dubs and stuff. I'm not going to stop Penny content altogether. <clears throat> Please? I need you. Yes! Woo! Yeah. Oh crap, no I didn't. Um... I'll talk about it near the end. I forgot. I entirely forgot, I'm sorry. At the end of the stream, I will be talking about Mario Kart. <laughs> if not in between.
I guess I could technically talk about it right now. Junkyard queen. Where are you at? After the stop speaking. <laughs> hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so <laughs> badass. <laughs> I was going to say hot. But yeah, badass too. That shirt looks awesome too. I might add. You like anything that starts fire. Hey, not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Oops, let me just put that on charge. Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? Hey. I thought we were cool after that Drew North thing. Don't you want to be cool? I just want to talk to Frank. As long as you don't get in the way, we'll be fine. <laughs> I told you. She's like this. Gotta say, I really dig the whole tough girl thing. Frank was right about you. How'd you like to work full time for us? Don't fucking touch her. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is happening. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. Because you're being aggressive, mate. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Huh. Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now. <laughs> Why you give a shit about this woman? I, sh she's a friend. An old family friend. <laughs> this chick doesn't have any family. Or any friends. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid Damon your dad's a real piece of shit you know we're aware not sure what that has to do with us me neither but I'd like to find out here's what happens next 
Come on, man. I was expecting a they're knife. Just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Oh! Ah! Pick up the knife! Don't let him get it again! Pick up the knife! Pick up the knife, Chloe! Frickin' hell, pick up the- Hospital? Hospital? There's no way she dies, because, like, we know that. She can't die. She's in the other one. Well, I mean, she's dead in the other one. But that's not how she dies! die because that's not how she dies think that maybe I should have played this before life is strange oh my lord Rachel is going to be all right the knife damaged her brachial artery but didn't cut it she's out of surgery and now she's resting Chloe what happened It's my fault. I should have listened to you. Sarah's mixed up somehow with this psycho Damon Merrick. I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe but I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But, Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? Did he actually want to know about Sarah, though? I think he asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? No, nothing Of course. Is that how it became violent? It 
when he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter. He, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? called her Rachel, and he figured it out from there. It's not your fault. What happened next? Damon had a knife out, if we all could see it, but then he said something that pissed Rachel off, and she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream, but I don't know what happened. And then, we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive, first of all. My department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise I'll let you know when she does. Thanks. Why can't Chloe go in? I don't get it. Oh, it's, um... I always forget her name. Hey. Steph. How's Mikey? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. Damn, are these all firefighters? Attention Arcadia Bay Hospital staff. Due to the increased volume of patients suffering from heat exhaustion and or smoke inhalation, we have made several additional recovery rooms available. Please process all new patients into wing B. Consult your shift leader for a refresher and recovery protocol. That's all from the fire? Come on. <laughs> Not that I have any coins anyway. <laughs> oh man. Jackpot. Chocolate bar. Get it, get it, get it. Look how everyone's like, huh? Shake it, shake it. Are we gonna get kicked out? Please don't get us kicked out. Yes. <laughs> I want. Any more of those. Ok, 
Guess the citizens of Arcadia Bay aren't feeling so generous. Sean Prescott. What's he writing to the hospital about? Is this for real? Arcadia Bay Hospital admin, Administrator Hofstader. One of your current patients is Michael North, a student at Blackwell Academy who was injured on school grounds. As the physical safety of its students is a core responsibility of any school, Blackwell has failed Mr. North in this instance. I would that I would therefore like to personally and I stress anonymously cover his medical expenses. If I may be of assistance in speeding the process, do not hesitate to contact me. Wait, who's Michael North? North? Do we know him? I wonder if Damon Merrick classifies as a biohazard. He's definitely human waste. All right, then. Thank you. Hi. Mr. North? That's me. Oh, Michael! You are? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm used to them calling him Mikey, and I just yeah, totally so just... My brain skipped yeah. past the fact that he was called Michael. How are... Uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Mikey's hurt, of course. But the doctors are saying it should heal up relatively quick. And Drew? Hey, maybe you heard. He's all set to go to Oregon State. Full ride for four years. That's... That's <laughs> awesome. Hold on. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sure. Both of those boys have been acting a little, well, guilty lately. Uh, I, I've been spending Thank most you of for my subscribing. time for work. I'm worried I, I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? You should probably ask Drew. I, uh, don't really know any details. I do know that whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. Thanks, Chloe. I know they've been trying to help me out, money-wise. We're a family, you know? We deal with things together. Oh, excuse me. Let's go in. Chloe. Hey, you made it. Hey, Chloe. Hey. How's the arm, Mikey? I wish it was the other one, so I could draw and stuff, but other than that, it's just broken. Sweet hair, by the way. I bet you could pull off Sailor Mercury. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. Why? What happened? Rachel was stabbed in the arm by Damon fucking Merrick. Yeah, that's not funny. Shit. You serious? Fuck that guy. It wasn't because of me, was it? No. Not at all. If, if anything... I... I should have thought about what happened with you guys before getting Rachel involved. That's crazy. 
The whole thing makes me want to just... I swear, if I ever meet that shithead, I'm gonna... What? What are you gonna do when you meet Damon Mary? Something terrible. Uh-huh. I am. Like... Yell at him? Like, a lot? In a stage manager voice. That is actually pretty scary. Okay. Throw dice at him. Criticize his taste in film. Okay. Tell him about a band he's probably never heard of, but <laughs> should have. Enough. Anyway, we're glad Rachel's okay. Oh, uh, you should hang out here till she wakes up. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. Michael, I would like to express my deepest condolences for your injury. I strive to make Blackwell a safe and welcoming place for all students. I realize now that in many ways I have failed to do that. I want you to know that the students and faculty are rooting for your speedy recovery. Your absence will be felt by all here at Blackwell. I have made that. I have made sure that your teachers are ready to accommodate any academic needs you may have. As for the matter that you were injured on Blackwell grounds, I can't help but feel personally responsible. I have begun to look for new security personnel. If there is anything I can do to make you feel more safe upon your return, please do not hesitate to let me know. Sincerely, Principal Way Ray Wells. Like he's entering into a cartoon contest? <laughs> I hope he wins. Michael, success. I was able to get a medical extension for your entry to the Cascade Head a cartoon contest. I think your superhero designs are the perfect spokesperson for marine per preservation. Have a restful recovery, Mrs. Miss Cole. Hmm. What are you guys doing? I thought you'd never ask. I had to hide our game from the nurse. She thinks it's negatively affecting my mood. Elamon's backed himself into a pretty tight spot this time. He might not make it. Wait a sec. Calamastia. She can join Elamon in battle. Maybe the two of us together could actually make it out alive. Wait. You're into this nerd shit too? I mean, I just played with them once. It was epic. It was a little epic. Yeah. I hate to be such a game master about it, but I'm pretty sure Chloe's character died last time. Oh, yeah. Wait a sec. Didn't you have that anklet of reincarnation in your inventory? Uh, yeah. I totally did have that thing. Holy shit! So you can actually swoop in and save my ass. What do you say? You gotta save Elamon, right? We rejoin Elamon as he majestically soars over the traveler's path. He glances over his shoulder, only to discover his pursuers are right behind him. Wait, you can fly? I'm a wizard. Plus, I kind of have to since you cut my feet off last time. Oh, shit. I, I, I forgot I did that. Sorry. It's cool. Elamon comes around a corner to discover Calamastia, the elf barbarian, sitting by a fire, roasting squirrels. Uh, <laughs> greetings, powerful Elamon. From whence do you run? Oh, oh, float. Or whatever. Funny you should ask. I'm being chased by an army of dragonkin. Remember when you killed that jailer and took his key to free the prisoners in the prison camp? <laughs> Turns out you offended their entire clan. 
And they're after me now. Sounds like you could use a hand from your favorite elf barbarian. Well, you did manage to inflict an insane amount of damage on everything. Suddenly, Dragonkin scouts rush in, clawing you while your backs are turned. Take four damage. You're up first. What do you want to do? I do a spinning slash. Sixteen. Good enough. You spin around, using your axe to slash all six dragonkin at once. They all drop dead in a puddle of blood. Hey, nice one. Don't celebrate yet. You begin to hear the clinking armor of hundreds of dragonkin warriors. The sound grows louder as they grow closer. And this is why I was running. Hmm. Running and living. Yeah, sounds like a plan. You sprint as fast as you can until you come across a fork in the road. One path leads into the mouth of a deep, dark cave. The other takes you into a dense, misty forest. Which way do you go? All right. To the forest it is. Let's go. As soon as you enter the shade of the great trees, it becomes eerily silent and very cold. You notice the stones on the ground are arranged in strange patterns, creating huge designs all over the forest floor. I think I know what this is. I follow the stones. The stones lead you to the center of the forest, where you see a mysterious glowing idol upon a golden pedestal. A forest idol? I could use that to regrow my feet. Help me steal it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now this is my kind of skill challenge. Awesome. Roll for idol theft. <sighs> Eight. As you approach the idol, you dash your foot against one of the stones and fall face first into the dirt. A bony hand shoots up from the ground right before your eyes. You feel the ground move and jump up just in time for the undead soldier buried there to sit up from his shallow grave. Dirt and pebbles cascade down his fleshless torso. Then, the ground beneath you shakes. Bony, rotting hands shoot up from the ground all around as an entire army of undead warriors rises from their graves. You have disrupted the undead forest, an ancient burial ground for fallen soldiers. They surround you now, armed to the teeth, Bony faces grinning. Run. Luckily, the undead have a very low running speed. The party flees safely, but the soldiers aren't far behind. As you near the edge of the forest, you hear the familiar boom, boom, boom of heavy footsteps. Out of the shadows and into your path steps Durgrod. Oh shit, is that me? You're gonna play? I'm gonna kick your ass. This is awesome. What do I do? Say something threatening. Uh, you shall not pass. I've heard you sound more threatening when ordering pizza. Dude, you're worse at this than I am. Okay, you know what, Price? Weak, foolish creatures. You were lucky to escape me the last time. But fortune does not shine forever. When I'm done with you, death shall seem a quiet reprieve. <laughs> Word. I wrote that for him. <laughs> Shut up. Now remember, Durgaron is still wearing his bracer of fire immunity and is impervious to all of Elamon's battle spells. Yeah, as it should be. It's your move. 
So this says I have some special kind of magical frost sword that does some like, ice slice thing. I'm doing that. Here we go. A 20? Shit. That's good, right? Durgaron, roll to reduce damage. You pull out your magically frozen blade and then unleash the ice slice to end all other ice slices. Ice slice. Durgaron takes 21 damage, but is still standing strong. <clears throat> I'll swing my giant ass sword at your head. The elf just manages to duck under your blade, avoiding damage, but getting a pretty nasty haircut. You'll pay for that. I feel like Rage Slam might be good. <laughs> Bring it. Channeling your immense fury, you try to lift Durgaron into the air for a body slam, badass style. 12. Uh, 16? Durgaron stronger than you think. He reverses your grip and lifts you up, throwing you through the air easily. Ha! Bullshit! You land in an embarrassingly awkward way. Take five damage. I take it all back. This game is... dumb. Now kick her while she's down. <sighs> Make that 16 damage. Back to you. I call upon Elamon. Help an elf out. Hmm. I know. I cast Clairvoyance. What would you like to see? Durgaron's weakness. Hey, what? An image forms in your mind. You see a small, adorable gnome bard singing a sweet song in a city street. Suddenly, Durgaron appears standing over him. He snatches up the bard, carries him to the sea, and throws him like a football far into the storm-tossed currents. Immediately after, he grabs his throwing shoulder in pain. You hurt your shoulder tossing a gnome into the ocean? I don't know what she's talking about. Didn't you throw that marching band kid in the pool last week? Not that you can prove. I stab at his right side, where he can't fend me off. Come at me. She lunges for you. You try to raise your sword, but pain shoots through your arm like lightning. Her axe gets you right in the ribcage, dropping you to your knees. This one's all yours. Skull bomb. Yes. Wait, skull bomb? I ignite a very small sun inside my enemy's head. Though his bracer shields him from the heat, the gravitational force of the sun causes Durgaron's head to implode until it disappears with a bloody pop. <laughs> Finally! Woo! Man! Finally? That was like two seconds. I barely got to play. Oh, man. Here, I have a potion. It'll make you feel better. I love these. How'd you know? She's got ways. Uh, if Durgaron's dead, I grab his bracer. Oh yeah, the the bracelet of fire resistance. Bracer of fire immunity. Whatever. You burst forth into the majestic meadow, horizon to horizon. All you can see is lush green fields, full of birds, flowers and dragonkin. What? Instead of chasing you, they circle around to set a trap. And you just walked right into it. As the dragonkin ahead prepare to attack, the army of undead arrive behind you. <sighs> We're surrounded and screwed. Ah, come on, Elamon. I'm sure you've got some sweet spell that'll save us. Uh. I do have Searing Crystal. Perfect! Searing Crystal, these fuckers! You don't get it. This isn't just another battle spell. This crystal is like... Like dropping a nuke. It'll kill everything. Including you and me. Actually, 
you did grab Durgron's bracer of fire immunity. Whoever wears it would survive. See? Problem solved. <sighs> but there's only one bracer. <sighs> Mikey loves his character. I, I can't just let him get Elamon killed. Great, we're doing this again. <laughs> Elamon, keep the bracer and cast the spell. I'll hold them off so you can survive. It won't work. Look at all of them. I should have never started this quest. I'm too weak. Elamon, you beat the shit out of Durgaron and took his bracelet. Bracer. Yeah, that. See, you can do anything. But I've never even used this spell before. What if I roll too low? I believe in you. I know you'll roll high. You're the only party member I've ever had who's actually helped me. I can't leave you behind. You're like... The most heroic person I know. You help everyone. It's my turn to save you from something. No, Calamastia, I won't just kill you. You'll kill all of these monsters, too. Think of how many lives you'll be saving by nuking their stupid faces off but I, I can save everyone I know I can somehow Elamon dude if you can't save everyone you should at least save someone save yourself all right I'm so sorry Chloe Elamon secures the Bracer of Fire immunity on his wrist. He gives the Elf Barbarian one last nod and reaches to the sky. The searing crystal lifts from his hands, floating up into the clouds. You got this, bro. Suddenly, an explosion. Fire arcs outward in a ring. Then the ring begins to spin. Whoa. A quiet stillness encompasses the meadow as all creatures gaze upward at the swirling flames. Thank you, Chloe, for everything. The flames descend over the meadow, bathing everything in liquefying arcs of infernal chaos. Monsters begin screaming in agony. Bad ass. Chloe, you've got one final moment before your angry elven body is burned away forever. Any last words? I turn to Alamon and say, Thank you. Before the flames burn me away forever. Alamon rolls not to cry. <laughs> I rolled a three. The spell comes to a spectacular climax. Until all you can see is white. Then... All is calm. All is quiet. All is ash. Damn. Congratulations, Alamon. You have completed Revenge of the Dragonkin. That's it? She's dead? And the game's over? Yep. And Alamon's left alone once again. It was fun having a companion while it lasted. Well, what if I make a new character? Wait, really? You want to keep playing? Sure. This is gonna be dope. That was a pretty intense one. Yeah. Thanks for playing. It always means a lot to Mikey. Seems like the least I could do. Okay, so I guess I should go to 
Rachel's room now. Let me just check. Say hi to <clears throat> Rachel for us. We're rooting for her. Thanks for playing, Chloe. That was one of the most emotional adventures I've ever had. It's... Hey. Can I sign your cast? Yeah. Definitely. Hmm. Something nerdy. But not too nerdy. There you go. Cool. Thanks for playing, Chloe. That was one of the most emotional adventures I've ever had. <laughs> Mikey's nurses must love this. Wow. I guess I should go. Hey. Wait up a sec. Sorry I got angry at you yesterday. About the money. You were just trying to help. Uh, don't worry about it. You were in a, a really tough situation. A situation I created. When you said that Damon stabbed Rachel, I kept thinking, I'm supposed to look out for Mikey, not bring this shit into his life. I think you saved us from something so much worse. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Oh my God. Thanks for stopping by. I never Bye, saw. Chloe. What if Mikey died? Like, if I didn't give him the money and then he like killed him. That could have been a thing. Chloe, this is Mr. Amber. Rachel is just waking up now. I'm sure she'd love to see you. Thanks. I think I'm gonna read, uh, last kind of pages in here. I think I want a tattoo. Yeah, I know it's permanent, right? But that's the thing though. It's not. Not really. Because we're not permanent at all. Funny how much simpler life seems when you keep that in mind. Like my hair. I wanted to see what it would look like blue. So I did. It looks awesome. One day I'll make it all blue. And if I don't like it, then so what? It'll all fall out eventually. See how that works? You know what else isn't permanent? David. He actually tried to be nice to me, in the most awkward way imaginable. Then he tried to connect with me about his dead friend, which... Fine. A for effort, I guess. Eventually I got out of there and headed to the garage. Which David is transforming into his own personal asshole cave. At least I got what came for... What I came for. Dad's toolbox. I bet he would have liked the idea of me using his tools to fix a ride. Off to the junkyard to see if I can get that truck working. I know it's far from permanent, but he's hoping that beast has a little more life in it. Chloe, the impermanent marker. You ever notice how people in hospitals are always whispering? I think it's because hearing our own voices makes everything feel much more we real somehow. Like writing it down. Weird how only a few hours ago, I was the one bringing something broken back to life. I snagged one of David's car manuals and fixed up the truck. I took it for a joyride around the junkyard before Rachel showed up. We chatted for a bit, then shit got crazy. And by crazy, I mean Damon Merrick, the psychopath who's super interested in Rachel's bio mom and dad for some reason. He and Frank arrived, demanding to know what we were doing. Before we could find out why, he pulled out a knife and stabbed Rachel. I might have been able to stop him if I acted quicker, but I, I just froze. If it weren't for Frank. A blazing car ride later and I'm here at the hospital, wishing I could make myself believe this isn't actually real. Chloe, the much too real. P.S. I hope Frank's okay. 
Let's go check on um Rachel then. Hey. Just heard the fire went out. Went out? You mean it's controlled? No. It's completely out. It extinguished itself. How could that be? Hell if I know. Those guys look exhausted. Are the fires out? I'm so relieved that Rachel's awake. I should see her right away. Hey. Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. Me too. You've grown so close, haven't you? Yeah. It's weird to think we just met a few days ago. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. Let's go check. Ooh, checkpoint. Is this gonna be a whole cutscene? That... I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. <laughs> My guardian angel. How are you? Not great. Better with you here. Rachel, I'm sorry. What? What for? <laughs> You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And, and you saved my life. You saved my life. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost... You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Happy that your dad's here. I mean... I'm still mad at him. For everything he's done. But... It felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like, on Mount Hood. <laughs> Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. Mom. Mom. <laughs> 
so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But... <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. I figured you would. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is 0722. To your... Your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe. For... Everything. Uh, hey, Elliot. Hey! Wait. Your hair, it's different. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I like it. It, uh, it, it's nice. I, I like your shirt, too. I didn't know you were into dragons. Who the fuck isn't into dragons? Sorry I bailed on seeing the Tempest with you. The whole thing just sort of <laughs> happened. Uh, no, not, not a problem at all. So, what's going on with you? Uh, I don't even know where to start. At the moment, I'm here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? Uh, she got stabbed by a psycho. Oh my god. Yeah. It was insane. Holy shit. Wait, are, are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. She's fine too, by the way. Are you, are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. I'll make sure to keep you posted. Right now, I'm here to take care of Rachel. Chloe, I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately, right? So what? So, obviously something is going on. 
I swear, man. Everything's really okay. Okay. I trust you. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. Okay, so we have to go and find Sarah, I guess. Um, and then I'm guessing that's like the end, maybe? But it's episode three, so something's got to be resolved, right? Oh yeah, we've got to get whatever it is we're getting from Hello? James's office. I need to search this office for any communication with Sarah that can help me find her. What do we have here? I should check the computer or some of those files laying around. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. James, this is enough. When you told me at the park that you weren't going to let me be a part of Rachel's life, of course I was angry, but I understood your need to protect her. It's your prerogative as a parent. But sending that man to talk sense into me, threaten me, you're losing the moral high ground here. What kind of way is that for a DA to act? What would the voters say? I have the right to meet my daughter, and the lawyer I spoke with agrees. But most importantly, Rachel has the right to know who her mother is, to know the truth. Do what you know is right, Sarah. Man... Wait... There's no way... Nah. I'm theorizing a bit too much on this, but there's no way, like, James sent Damon to talk sense into Sarah. Because that's what I'm picking up here. What's happening? A file? James sure keeps lots of files on people. I always have to graffiti. I want to pick up all the achievements. <laughs> if this is even one. Oh yeah. Cute. <laughs> More sherry. He's a sherry man. That was a lot. I'm not going to be able to smash my way through this one. Hopefully there's a key around somewhere. Okay, so I can't look at that. I didn't look at the service award, but it's I not guess really guess getting your ass kissed relevant. comes with the DA territory. 
Can I shut the drawer? No. Dad award. Another file? James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Snow globe. Chloe really likes shaking her snow globes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the big one. The way she shakes the snow globe is so funny. Um, dad award. Best dad. <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Hmm. And I was gonna leave that one. That's got the key in it. I was I was about to leave. I was like, nah, that, that's not relevant. Gotta check everything. Found Perfect. you. Perfect. Let's open the. Oh, Drew. Hey, Price. Thanks again for playing with Mikey. Huh, that was a good game. Good luck with whatever you're dealing with. Be safe. That's from all of us. Thanks. Mikey says, tell Chloe she can handle anything. Hope so. I don't think you can know how you feel about someone until you almost lose them. Until you sit in a hospital waiting room, frozen in place yet somehow falling, silently desperately pleading to hear their voice, touch their hand, make them laugh. Then you know. It was weird being with Rachel's dad, and actually kind of nice. We were on the same team suddenly, and none of the other shit mattered. I think I can see why Rachel loves him. Got to check in on Mikey, spend some time with him and Steph. Oh yeah, and cheer Mikey up with some hardcore ner nerd gaming. After what felt like forever, Rachel woke up. Even with everything that's happened, she's still focused on finding her mother. So I- so I am too. Here's the plan. I'm going to dig around in James's office, find whatever I can about her, and track her down so they can meet. I don't know how tough it might be. Chloe the Bounty Hunter. Let's go open this drawer. Welcome to Shadyville. Almost looks like there's literally nothing in that box. Burner phone? Is that a burner phone? Is that to contact Damon? Sarah sent all these letters. Okay, no. And James never gave them to Rachel? That's so messed up. So she has been trying to get into contact. But he said she wasn't. To my Rachel, my name is Sarah, and I am your biological mother. The first thing you should know about me is that giving you up with the, was the worst mistake I ever made. I was struggling with something at the time. Something I have been battling with ever since. That battle has taken everything from me. Most importantly, you. But now I am in a place where I know I can be part of your life. It is more than I deserve, I know. But I would love to try if you want to. Please take your time, and if you have anything to say, or any questions, hearing from you would mean the world. I love you very much, and I hope to meet you soon. Love, Sarah. Dearest Rachel, I hope it's alright for me to write to you again. I haven't heard from you yet, and that's okay. It really is. I just feel like I have so much to catch up on, you know? I don't remember much of my life. It's a symptom of the choices I've made. So much is lost. Except you. I remember everything about you. The crinkle of your nose, the depths of your eyes, the knowing smile that somehow made it seem like you'd seen it all before. I can call it up whenever I want, as clear as a summer's day. I was so afraid, afraid that I would be a terrible mother to you, that I would screw you up the way I screwed up so much of my life. Now I know, of course, and my fear was wrong. Far worse than being a bad mother is never knowing 
knowing what kind of mother I would have been. I am sorry if you can find the courage to forgive me. Maybe we can start over. I want to. With all my might, I want to. Love, Sarah. Beautiful Rachel, I read somewhere, maybe a fortune cookie, that you can never step in the same river twice. Because after it moves, it's not really the same river anymore. It's something new. Do you think that's true? I try to picture you reading these letters. I wonder what your reactions are. How I might seem to you. This mystery mother. I don't blame you for not writing back. You will write when you are ready. I imagine your dad is still wary of all this. That's okay. James is protective of you, just as I would be. But he's also a kind and compassionate person. That was the problem, really. I wasn't cut out for him, or the life he wanted to give you. I knew it then, even when he didn't. I know we can never have the same relationship we should have had, but I can hope we can have something new together. I hope it so much. Oh my love, Sarah. The Sarah in this letter doesn't seem anything at all like the person James told us about last night. James, I understand your reluctance to let me speak with Rachel, but don't you think the decision should belong to her? Everything I have done over the past year has been to prove to you that I am ready to be in Rachel's life. I have gone through rehab, I am in recovery, and I am no longer in need of money or assistance. I know I can be a positive influence for her. I am coming to Arcadia Bay, in the hopes that we can at least meet to discuss this, so you can see how much I've changed. If you have any feelings left for me at all, you will give me a fair chance to prove myself to you, and hopefully to Rachel too. You were the love of my life once. Please don't take this away from me. Cease and desist. Dear Mr. Amber, I, rep I represent Sarah Gearhart, lawful mother of La Rachel Amber and petitioner for the partial custody of Rachel Amber, her lawful daughter. Please take notice that Oregon law requires current guardians of minors to respond in good faith to any and all lawful petitions by parents to re-establish contact with their children. On behalf of my client, I hereby demand that you cease and desist from unlawfully denied contact between Sarah and Rachel Amber. You are now considered to be on notice that continuing refusal will result in a petition for suit filed under Oregon Family Law Statute 42.4b. Tillamook County Family Services. This letter constitutes your final notice on this matter. Sincerely, Kevin G. Shapiro. So, this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night. Wow. So... He's not letting her talk to her, and she's not even seen any of the letters, either. What's on the phone? I have to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. I'm told you can help me with my problem. Crossing the line, eh? Let's talk. We'll talk tonight. I found out who you were looking for. Call you in 15. Well? This isn't a charity. I'm gonna need you to talk. To do what we talked about. I can't. Sure you can. Because I talked to your girl, and she has a big mouth. Turns out she's not so easy. We're going to need more hands on. Don't hurt her. Relax, I've got my best guy on it. How's your daughter? You know she attacked me first, right? You really should teach her to behave better. Nothing. Guess you don't need this taken care of anymore. So was I right? Was I right? Was it Damon? This is Damon. Or Frank. That's Damon. He was in on it. He knew. It was his fault. It was her dad's fault that she got ki uh, killed. Uh, it was her dad's fault that she got stabbed. You know, it's 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 really funny. 
Because I thought, oh, maybe we're seeing things. Like, we, we were all thinking, oh, her dad's acting a bit weird. Um, because he's going out with this other random woman. And then we find out the random woman is actually Rachel's mom. And then he's still kind of acting weird. And I'm like, oh, maybe that's just his personality. Maybe that's just how he is. But probably the reason he's acting weird is because he's literally stopping Sarah from even talking to Rachel. Not even letting Rachel look at the letters that Sarah's sending her. And then he's getting Damon on the... On the on the entire situation and then caused his own daughter to get hurt. I'm speechless. Jesus Christ. This man. And he's freaking locking up. James is working with Damon Merrick? <clears throat> this is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? <sighs> Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? You'll pay for what you did to Rachel. I told you, she came at me. It was self-defense. Besides, pretty sure you still need me. It's simple. Either you do what I want or your little problem becomes a big problem. Now, did you take care of the evidence or not? Shit. What do I say? I know you're new at this, but here's how it works. You show me proof, I give what you want. Ugh. Hope James actually has this evidence. Don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is. Unless I send him a picture. What evidence? There's gotta be there's gotta be something in here, right? Ah. Shit. Which of these is Damon talking about? I could just take a wild guess and see what he says. Or maybe there's some info on the case hanging around the office. Crime report. What's this one? Acadia Bay Police Department. After a verbal altercation with the victim, Merrick brandished a fire poker, hitting the victim several times about the head before fleeing the scene. Merrick's gloves were recovered and entered into evidence. A 911 call was received at 10.21pm and an officer arrived on the scene at 10.38pm with MET, EMT. The victim was taken to a hospital. A bystander who requested to remain anonymous named Damon Merrick as the ass ass assailin assailant. So it's the gloves, right? It's the, gro gl gl it's the gloves. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. It's the gloves, I think. I'm waiting. What, that's evidence, right? Yeah, and now you fucking destroy it. Why are you so bad at this? I'll get right on that. If I can figure out how. How do I destroy a glove? Maybe I can burn it somehow. I burn it with what?
Maybe not a great idea to do that in the house, but you do you. Oof. Better not touch that again. You've taken care of it. Good. So? Since you're destroying evidence, might as well tell me which of my guys was a snitch. Oh, great. Where is she? No more games. Sorry, Chief, but I think you're gonna do what I asked. Tell me who it is, or maybe you'd rather deal with a problem yourself. Damn. I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. So I need to Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Oh, crap. Okay. If I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. Okay, um, Sheldon, Frank, Thunder, and Vender. Let's see. This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. This is that asshole who was selling firewalk shirts. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? I guess this explains why Mr. Amber knows so much about Frank. Let's read the crime report again. Bystander who requested to remain anonymous. So it definitely doesn't say on the incident report. I don't hope James doesn't really get Damon off the hook. That dude's gotta pay. I don't know. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? How are we supposed to figure that out? Because it's anonymous. Nobody knows who he is. What about the computer? Investigate. Ah, I the files. agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. Who's is this? Gerald Scott. Defendant. Um... Computer? This guy's the snitch? He was so cool to me at the mill. Wonder if there's someone else I could pin it on instead. So it's him? Is he actually... Looks like a recent email from Rachel's mother to James. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother... This seems like a pretty terrible way to act. Okay. There's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. But I love learning about his badass loitering charge. So, Vanda? No, I mean... This guy let me into the mill. That guy. Cool dude. Yeah, but like, it seemed that the, she said it was. Pro tip, 
When digging for secrets, try the DA's computer. I'm gonna just say Thunder. Thunder is the snitch. Shit, that makes sense. I can't wait to take care of that fucker. Guess all that leaves is our handoff. Show me you have my payment and I'll tell you where to meet. Payment? Fuck. How much? The exact amount your pigs stole from me. Here's hoping James already has Damon's money. But where would it be? I don't know, in his pocket? Sawdust. I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. Holy shit. Alright, good work. And now here's your girl, ready to go. Fuck, that's Sarah. And... She's at the mill. What is he doing to her? Bring me the package and we can finish the job. I'm calling it off, let her go. Cold feet, huh? You really are new at this. How about I leave a body on your doorstep? Bring me the cash then we can talk. Okay. Holy shit. Does James even know what he's doing? Okay. I still have time. They better not come Damon's home. He's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Elliot? Hey. Elliot, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? What the fuck is he doing Did here? Did he really just follow me here? Did you, did you follow me from the hospital? I did. I'm worried about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe, what is... Ah. Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe. What have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? I... I, I can't tell you, but obviously this is pretty serious shit. That's why I need to leave right now. You mean serious for Rachel, right? But... But you're the one putting yourself in danger, again. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You, you don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out. What happens? You end up in a fight. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. Stop, stop suggesting that she's somehow bad The for... next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get expelled. Rachel was there for me. She did everything she could to protect me. I guess it wasn't enough, huh? 
like you don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? God, oh, look, I, I'm sorry I ditched you for the play, but... This isn't about that. S seriously, man, y you need to shut the fuck up before... I've been quiet long enough. Look, Rachel is an amazing actress, and I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real, and I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot, I, I promise, no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout, hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. As if he if didn't break happened. into the house too. Dude, you, you know you sound a little stalkerish right now. Stalking is defined as repeated unwanted interactions. How long have my interactions been unwanted? I don't want you here now, Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once. What the hell is going on? I'm not walking past him. He'll just, like, get in my way again. Elliot, please. I know you're upset. But... I'm not upset! I'm trying to help you. Not great. Now we have evidence that people were here. That's nice. That's really nice, Elliot. Thank you. Thank you so much, Elliot. Look, I'm sorry. But I really need to go. I knew he was gonna do that. Why did you make me do that? Can't I didn't make you do anything! What did I make you do? Did I- did, did- did I go- Push me, Elliot! Push me! No, you did your fucking self, you absolute- Just literally go away! It's not that hard. You're- you're st you're a freaking weirdo. You're stalking me. Just get out. I don't even know this guy, barely. He's some kind of acquaintance that we've come across. Elliot's oh my god. Gone full blown crazy. Ah, I got the chair. I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me. We have a lot to talk about. <clears throat> and I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. So a manipulator, hmm? You're the manipulative one. What is going on? Ha. Ha, that's kind of right, funny, though. <clears throat> you want to talk so bad? Let's talk. What's really going on here? You can tell me. Okay. Right now, we are here at 2420 Blackfriars Road. Is that what you mean? Why did I say that? Why did I say that? You're acting strange. What's going on? Why did I say that? That, that just went wrong. Can I go Not, back? I, this one doesn't have time travel. Ugh, you bitch! Well, how are they gonna find us now? Can't you see? I just want to help you! You're going to assault me now? 
that's how far you'll go to protect Rachel? This is what I'm talking about. No, you idiot. What the fuck? Better run, dickbag. Cops will be here any minute. <laughs> That's kind of funny, though. I wish I could have actually backed up. I don't know why I thought saying the exact address would be any good. That's obviously sketchy. We got out of it anyway. Isn't her fingerprints on everything there now? That's not great. Almost ended up like her dad then. <laughs> so much destruction. All because Rachel got angry at her dad. Who's been lying to her all her life. And he's still lying. Don't leave I the money in the car. Being a dad's tough. Oh, for fuck's sake. That doesn't justify what he's done. I'm just saying. Hallucinations now? Anything to keep you safe. Hallucinations. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Dreams again? Did she actually get hit? Can you ever lie to me? I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for mom wasn't a piece of crap. I mean, like, really lied about. Something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? Um... I suppose everyone lies about big things. I mean, the stuff Mom doesn't know about me. So, you probably lied too. Would you love me less? Of course not. You sound pretty sure, sweetheart. You were pretty sure Mom would never fall in love with someone like David, too. Are you really ready to hear the answer to your question? Ready as I'll ever be. Problem is, I'm dead. So how am I supposed to tell you anything? Yeah, um, yeah, g yeah. Yeah, that's your thoughts. Hallucinating now, are we? Because we almost got into a car crash. Trauma! Yay! I guess it's better this way. Not knowing. Then... I'll always be the perfect dad? How many people get to say that? No word. My ride, my tunes. <laughs> I don't like that he's in the car because I feel like she's going to get into a car crash. I hate that he's in the car. There's something not right about this. There's something not right. I don't know. Am I seriously going in to face Demon Merrick? All for Rachel. Am I crazy? Hella crazy. I'm glad you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. 
I like the company. Besides, we don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> My trust is low in this game. I don't even know what's gonna happen. This game is, like, hurting my trust issues really bad. Here we go, then. Isn't he gonna be mad that it's you and not James? But, you know, who knows? Whatever. Don't get beat up now. Shit. Is that blood? I almost forgot she was tied up. Frank? Frank! Shit, this is bad. I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. What the heck happened there? I just saw that on the stream. What was that? What was that glitch? Was that just me? Where the hell is Sarah? Oh my god. Don't tell me what to do. Glad to see the bone made. Where's the homicidal drug dealer, spooky deerhead? It was you or me, it wasn't personal. The police. It's Dun Damon. Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture. So that's what's going to happen. This is so messed up. After all, no one believes a junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. You can do this. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? I've got your money right here. The money James owes you? How the fuck do you- Run! No one has to know. Just, just let her go and I won't say- <laughs> Talking's over. Leave her alone. 
Shut up. <laughs> what the fuck? You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just trying to help. Get away from her. I said shut the fuck up. No. Go to your fucking happy place. Run. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with... Damon! What did you do? Ho, 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 I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. Sarah. Rachel. Your daughter. She... What is that guy doing? What is he like? in his mid-twenties, having beef with the sixteen-year-old? Sarah? Chloe Price. Is this a dream? Or are they okay now? Because, like, I'm confused at this point. I don't know what's going on. You know who I am? I saw you in the play. You were funny. Thanks. Sit. Sarah. Are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I am so... So sorry for Rachel can never know. What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with... <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that Rachel can never know. Tell me why. Doesn't she deserve to know what her father did? No. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar! James <laughs> is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here, and you'll take that away from her. Forever. And just, what is James protecting her from? You? She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. No, you're not. You're stronger than you realize. You don't know anything about me. I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. I lost my father two years ago. 
How? Car accident. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store, and a truck ran a red light, and that was it. I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. I, I, I don't know anything about addiction, but I know what it's like to be needed by someone. It gives you strength you never knew you had. Rachel needs you. Rachel needs her family. I, I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented. And she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home, given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. Even without all this shit, the Ambers are far from perfect. James is an elitist asshole and and Rose lets him walk all over her. Maybe. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <laughs> he doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? The worst mistake you ever made was giving Rachel up. That's what you said in your letter to her. You read that. You don't have to make the same mistake twice. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. So please. Tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. Wait. I'll take care of her, you know. I believe you. Goodbye, Chloe. Dream, are we waking up or?
So Rachel might be a bit angry. But like, I, I don't know at this point. Hello? Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later? Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside. How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed. <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So... How did everything go? Rachel, I've got to tell you something. Oh, for, f for God's sake! Oh my God, right, um... I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um. Oh God. I could tell Rachel everything. She wants to know, but her mum has specifically just told us not to tell her. But won't Rachel be angry or upset still because she never got to hear what her mum said? But wouldn't she be even more upset that our mum was there but she never got to see her? I don't know! I don't know what to say! I'm gonna spend as long as I did on the sacrificing Chloe thing for this. Um... Oh god. Uh... I, I don't- I don't know. Oh my god, this is such a hard choice. Because, like... I can't just protect her from the truth, because this has already happened before. I need to tell her. I'm telling her. I knew she'd be mad. And that's just how it ends?
There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. No! Don't do this to me! God, what's happening now? What's up with this family and smashing snow globes? We're gonna do the thing that I did last time where I pick both. Oh, Pompidou. My eyes are a bit wet. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. I am... I'm simply sweating from my eyes. Yikes. Um... It's just like, it's thinking about all of this is before Life is Strange, and it's, it's just horrible seeing that Rachel still dies only three years later. And she didn't deserve that. I mean, nobody deserves that, but... He just does not give a shit anymore, that's- that's so funny. So this is when she dyed her hair. I hate that that is the same place that she was buried.
Wow. So, that was... Life is Strange Before the Storm. Wow. Not a single tear dropped from my eye, but they still welled. So, may maybe this one was worse. Wow. That was, um... I'm gonna play the other ending too, but... Oh my gosh. I, uh... I think I like Before the Storm better than Life is Strange. Um... This is probably my favourite so far. And I still have Life is Strange 2 and True Colours, but they're different stories altogether, so... Out of the Chloe stories and stuff, I definitely like Before the Storm. Um, this was a very, um, it was, it was very, uh, surprising because I'm, I was like, the entire way through it, I was just like, what the hell is happening? Like, stuff just dropped after each other, and I was like, whoa, 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 where did that come from? Like, the whole thing with, with um, uh, Rachel's dad, a and then, like, her mom, and then, like, everything was just so... Like, I could not have seen that coming. Like I said before, like in Life is Strange, um, I could see what was coming. I could, like, uh, tell what was gonna happen. But, like, the only thing I managed to figure out in this one was that, um, Rachel's dad was talking to Damon. Because, um, I, I saw someone put on the stream, I saw you're gonna hate this or something, and then... I looked at the thing and I was like, wait a minute, is that a burner phone? He's texting Damon, isn't he? Uh, that's the only thing I think I managed to figure out. The rest was just freaking like, wow. <laughs> that was just drops. But, wow. I'm definitely going to play the other ending. Um, but, yeah. Wow. Another thing before I forget, uh, not about this game, but the Mario Kart tournament. I will- I might do a video based around it and like ask people, or I could do a stream that's directly dedicated to me talking about the Mario Kart thing. Like I won't be playing anything, it will just be me talking about the Mario Kart tournament so that I can get people live on stream to tell me if they're gonna be there, what they want to do, what time they want to do that, what date. So then we can all like get together stuff and it will be better. Um. Oh yeah, the only thing in Life is Strange that freaking like surprised me like so much was, was the Mr. Jefferson stuff. Because I was not expecting Mr. Jefferson to be the frickin' villain. I was like, huh? Like, I, I, I knew about um, Nathan, but Mr. Jefferson, that was a shock. I, I sat there at the end of it with just my mouth open, just staring at the screen, not understanding what the hell I was just told on episode 4, and I was- oh my god. That was the most shocked I've ever been. I don't think any movie or any game has made me that shocked in my life. Oh my god. But yeah, I will try and do like either a video- I might do both. I might do a video and then I'll do a live stream. I'll say in the video when the live stream will be. And then, um... 
figure out what we're doing for the Mario Kart tournament because I really, really, really want to do it. But I can't just stream the Mario Kart tournament because not everybody's going to be available. Also, I'm at college next week, so um, it depends about like homework and stuff. I still have some stuff to finish, uh, which is funny because it's now 1am, which means I have three days to get in my coursework. Um, <laughs> me when I prefer YouTube over my coursework. I've nearly finished it, don't worry. I've got like my script to do and then that's it. I've just got one more thing to do. Ugh. Right. I can't believe that though. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to like my uh, community tab thing where I ask people what times the streams would be better. See which it is. And then on the day, I think it was like, oh, I don't remember what it was. Um, but on that, on the day that most people are available, I'm going to do the live stream for the Mario Kart tournament. Um, planning, I mean. So I'll do a stream planning for the Mario Kart tournament. Um, everyone can join and see what's happening. Um, and I'll also do a video about it so that it can reach out to more people. Hopefully I'll like tag... Uh, put hashtags like Mario Kart, Mario, Nintendo, etc. Try and get some more people involved. And uh, I think it'll be really, really fun. I'm, I'm like super excited, by the way. I'm so excited to play Mario Kart. Because I never get to play with anyone unless I like go to a sleepover at my friends, which is like very rare, and we'll play like Mario Kart. But I think that's only happened once. And I lost because apparently one of my friends was like super freaking good at Mario Kart. Like, I thought I was okay, but I only ever played the single player. So it's like, I can beat all these bots, but I can't be a real person. So I think I'm actually bad at Mario Kart. And I thought I was mediocre. Um... I can't think of what else I wanted to say. Before we go on to the next uh, ending, I don't think there's anything, is there? I mean, other games that I might be playing, I'm gonna be trying to play a ton of Switch games. Um, one of the games that I really wanna play, since I have Nintendo Switch Online right now, I really wanna play um, the Ocarina of Time for the Nintendo 64, because on Switch you can get um, older Nintendo games if you have the plus the game pack thing. So it'd be really fun to play some of the old games. I'd love to play Ocarina of Time. I would have played the Ocarina of Time 3D on my 3DS, but the problem is I don't think I can um, record that with this capture card. I'll have to get like a special 3DS capture card to capture that. So I don't know if I could do that. Which sucks, because some 3DS games are quite good. One day I'm going to buy Luigi's Mansion 3 and I'm going to play that on my Switch. Um... Games like I I have for my Switch. I have a like a box full of cartridges. I have I have Metopia, which I've never played, so I could play that on the on the channel. Um, I have Animal Crossing, but that's more of a personal world. So either I make a new account, um, and play on that, but that means I won't be able to do multiplayer or uh, something. I don't know. I have Untitled Goose Game, which I still don't understand. I've got to the part where you like have to get the keys from the farmer, and then. I don't know what to do after that. So there's that. Um, I have... Uh, I wouldn't say all the Zelda games. I have Zelda Breath of the Wild. I have Skyward Sword. And I have uh, Tears of the Kingdom. I don't have Link's Awakening. Uh, I haven't played Tears of the Kingdom or Skyward Sword yet. Um, and I'm barely through Breath of the Wild either. So I guess I could play any of those. Probably the newest one, which is the Tears of the Kingdom. That would be good to play. I don't usually play Zelda games, but I really want to get into them. Uh, I also have... Um, I can remember. I have Minecraft on my Switch, but we all know what Minecraft is. Um, I have Kirby and the Forgotten Land, or whatever it's called. Um, that's cool. 
but I usually play that on my own. I want to buy a ton of games. I really want to buy the new Princess Peach game. I want to buy Super Mario Wonder. Uh, stuff like that. I want to buy the Super Mario RPG as well. I feel like that would be fun. I usually like RPG games. So. But yeah, I've, I was thinking of playing a ton of Nintendo games. Because I freaking love Nintendo. I don't know why I love it so much, but Nintendo games, I love them. Ooh, let's go. Let's see what's happened here first. You took the blame for Rachel. 74% of people. Okay. You emptied your pockets at David's request. 62%. Oh, wait. No, sorry. That was the other one. Sorry. 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 You told Rachel the truth. 51%. You didn't tell Rachel the truth, 49%. Okay. Let's do the next. You killed the plant with the soda. So it was either kill the plant with soda or kill the plant with Ned Uh, you know what? That was a 50-50 chance. You accepted David's photograph. You didn't have Drew's money at the start of the day. Oh, okay. You played tabletop with Mikey. What do you mean? What do you mean most people didn't play tabletop with Mikey? Why wouldn't you? They're actually really fun. I was getting into the Calamastia stuff. I really liked that. It makes me want to play Dungeons and Dragons again. It makes me want to play Baldur's Gate. Because I got that and then I played it once and then I just uh, didn't play it again. And I really want to play it. Not sure if I could play it on the channel because it's 18 plus, but you know. Um I could just dodge the 18 plus stuff. <laughs> I don't know. You didn't donate to the Firefighters Fund. I didn't know I could. Oops. You revealed to Damon that Thunder was the snitch. Okay. Rachel didn't meet her mother. Okay, so I'm guessing that Rachel meets her mother in the other ending, now that I've seen that. Oh, what's this? They should have grown old together. They deserved to grow old together. This is Max! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! This is leading up to the Life is Strange! That was leading up to Life is Strange! Oh my god! Um... That was leading up to Life is Strange. Oh my god. Okay. Episode menu. Right, I'm gonna buy that eventually. Um, it's seven ninety nine. It's not as much as I thought it would be to upgrade to Deluxe Edition. So I have that money. I will buy it soon. Um, and then we can play the bonus episode. Probably soon soon. And then I can play um, Life is Strange 2 after this and then True Colors. Oops, wait, we're going back to episode three. Wait, can I... If you press on it... Yeah, it's gonna let me, okay. Okay, so... Hospital... Let's, um... Go back. Um... No, I don't want to go into collector mode. I want to... I don't want to go into collector mode. I don't want to restart the entire episode.
The choices made in collector mode will not be taken into account when you resume your current progression. Only collectibles will be saved. So what does that even mean? Can I still change the ending? I'm gonna try. Hello? Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later? Hey. Go back to sleep. Can I talk to Chloe alone for a minute? Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside. How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed? <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped. Did we? We got time. All the time in the world. So... How did everything go? Okay. Now we don't tell her anything. Rachel, I've got to tell you something. Protect Rachel from the truth. What's wrong? I failed you. I couldn't find her. I'm so sorry. Honey, you seem so confident. I really thought you'd find her. Yeah. Me too. Maybe we can try tomorrow. M maybe she hasn't left town yet. Of course. I know wherever she is, she loves you very much. How do you know that? Because, why should she be any different from the rest of us? Happy ending. Probably should have chosen that first. But now Chloe is going to be like full of guilt now. Probably. Yep. What I meant is it's happier for Rachel, not anybody else. This all seems to be the same except for the Rachel thing. 
I mean, it kind of all has to be, right? Because it's all leading up to Life is Strange. I hate him so much. still kind of the same thing. We just didn't tell her. Same ending. I would, but I kind of don't really want to go back. I don't- I don't know how, um, all that's gonna be. Okay, um, it was the old mill, but I'm gonna have to go through the whole, like, fight thingy again. And the whole conversation and everything. I never ever graffiti or photography any- uh, photography? Photograph, um, everything. Maybe in my spare time I'll like go and get the achievements, but like...
I think I think I'll leave it there. So that was before the storm. Um I think I've said everything really. Uh, I've said what games I might play, I've said a few things. Wait, I'm gonna look in my uh little Splatoon 3 um Nintendo case. And let's see. So, games I have in my little case that I take everywhere with me is Pikmin 1 and 2. I have Splatoon 3. Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Spyro, Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom, uh, Super Mario Odyssey. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury. I have tried playing 3D World by myself, but I really, really, really want to play Bowser's Fury. Uh, Let's Go Eevee, Super Smash Bros, and Splatoon 2. I do have um, Splatoon 3 as well. I haven't played Splatoon 2 yet because I got that after 3 because I never got to play Splatoon when I first got the when I first got Splatoon I got 3 and then I really wanted 2 cuz I had 1 on the Wii U as well. Final thoughts. Um I don't know what else to say about it to be honest except that was really good. I think I prefer uh Before the Storm uh, than Life is Strange like I just said. Um I don't know what else to say about it. I, I really, really, really like Rachel Amber as a character. Um, before, I wasn't really that attached to her because obviously in Life is Strange we don't really know anything about her except for that she's in the in the missing girl posters and it's like, who is this person? Or why is um, Chloe so attached to her? Like, why, why, why were they best friends? And then obviously this is the prequel so you get to see. And I really, really like um, origin stories I don't know what it is, but if any kind of like show or anything has a character's origin in it, it's like amazing. I love it. Because we actually get to see what Rachel Amber was doing before all the, sh the shit happened and life is strange, and especially wh how Chloe used to be. Um, but like, I really, really like life is strange now i'm gonna buy them um i don't know whether to buy them for pc or playstation it was way easier to control on playstation than pc i don't know i can't i kind of like the playstation version better so i might just buy them all on playstation i know they're on ps plus but you never know w what if they go off ps plus someday <laughs> I love these games, and I'm really excited to play Life is Strange 2 and True Colors. Um, I need more recommendations like this. I need games like this. I don't know what other things that I can think of, except for like Detroit Become Human maybe? That has the kind of thing where you have to pick stuff. Um, I I'm not sure. Heavy Rain? That I really want to play. I really, really, really want to play Heavy Rain on the channel. I've only ever played the first little bit. I really, really, really want to play Heavy Rain on the channel. That'd be so friggin' good. From what I've seen of it, it's, it's amazing. And also, like I've said before, I have my PS3 all set up now, so I have like PS1 games, PS2 games, and PS3 games that I can play on it, since it's one of those backwards compatible ones. Um, so, like, tell me any PS1, 2, or 3 game that you'd like me to play, and I'll try and find it and get it. I have Final Fantasy 12, 13? I'm not sure. It's a PS2 game. I have that. Um, I have a bunch of random PS3 games. I have Little Big Planet, Little Big Planet 2. Uh, um, I have Heavy Rain, Batman Arkham Asylum, which would be good, I think. I have a bunch of others as well. I'll have to look. I have, I have my old um, game that I used to play as a kid. I used to play it on the Wii and then recently I got it for the PS2. I got Bratz the Movie, if anyone's ever played that as a kid. Uh, Bratz the Movie, the game. 
It, it was actually really good. I really like the game. I might play it for like old times sake. Just one day is like a silly little thing on the channel. Minecraft story mode, yes, 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 yes. I think I can get that on PlayStation 5. So that'd be really good. I really, really, really want to play Minecraft story mode. I remember crying at Minecraft story mode as a kid. I just, I need to, I need to play it again. I have it on my Wii U. I just haven't played it. I can't recall my re Wii U though, because it's downstairs and I don't think I'm allowed to take it up here. So no Wii U games, sadly. Um, can't think of any other games. I can just get basically any game for the PS1, 2 or 3. Once I tried playing Parappa the Rapper and I'm so bad at it that I wish I never got it. I suck. I hate it so much. <laughs> yeah, I will make sure it's both seasons. I'll make sure I get like the season pass thingy. So you can get it on PlayStation where it's like full season. I was gonna buy it from CEX. Uh, but it's, I think it was a lot of money, even though it's like super, super old. And that was for the PS4. So uh, I don't know, might just get it on the store. It might be discounted, like might might be on sale at some point. Unless it is on PS Plus, I'm not actually sure. It might be. I haven't checked. I don't think it is, because I know that now, Minecraft Legends, Minecraft Dungeons, and Minecraft are on PS Plus. Not sure about story mode. Ooh, talking about that, I really want to try out Legends. I'm going to play that someday too. I'm going to stream Minecraft Legends since that came out uh, on the monthly games. I'm so excited. Uh, once again, a reminder that I will not be active on the channel, streaming-wise, uh, from the 21st of this month until the 28th because I am going on holiday and I will be um, recording some videos to upload for that week. So you won't be up without content, but it won't be my streams because I can't be live when I'm in a different country. <laughs> It'd be like, um, no Wi-Fi. <laughs> can we suggest horror games? Yes, uh, you can suggest horror games. I've got Resident Evil Village, so I could play that. Um, I'm really, really wanting to get Outlast. I know it's an old game, but I saw someone play it, and I really, really like it. The first Outlast, that is. Outlast 2 is freaking terrifying, man. The Well? I... I, I sat there in fear. <laughs> I can't do Outlast 2, but I can do Outlast 1. I mean, I could do Outlast 2. I'll just, like, suck it up, get through it. Um... See, I can play horror games. I don't have many, but I can I can uh, take suggestions and download them. I had thri Friday the 13th, the game, but I think that's getting shut down soon. Or it has? I'm not sure. I have that. I'm thinking of getting Phasmophobia. I got a, a, a new game recently, which I think a lot of content creators have been doing. Um, the free game content warning. That's supposed to be good. It's kind of like Lethal Company, but like less produced. I don't know. It's like it's a milder version, I think, of Lethal Company. One day I also want to get. I know that not a lot of people play Among Us anymore, but I'd really like to get mods for Among Us because I've been watching someone on YouTube called Alpha Rad. And um, he does like Among Us on Mondays and he does mods with it. And it's just, it, it makes the game so much more fun with mods. So I'd, re I'd really like to play it like that. But I'm not sure if everybody else has to have the mods too. You might, which sucks. And it'll only be for PC. So, I think I've said everything. 
Um, like I said, uh, just reminding again, I will be doing a stream and a video on the Mario Kart tournament planning. So that will be out soon, that video. Not sure how soon, I'll probably have to record it tomorrow or Saturday. And then um, get it out by next week at least, so. Because I need to edit everything, so. I guess I will see you guys in the next stream or video. Need to get to recording those comic dubs for the week. Um, for next week, is it? Is it next week? Oh, the week after. For two weeks' time. So, I'll see all you guys uh, later. Thank you to everyone who watched today. Um, not sure what I'll definitely be playing next. Probably a Nintendo game. Probably like Let's Go Eevee or something, just to like calm down and then I'll play um, the extra episode of Before the Storm when I buy it. So, see you soon.